on TV for you. This week we're all about getting ink. So that takes many forms like tamoko, tattoos, maybe even painting. Artist Sophia Minson blows us away. Aroha to her. She's a hearting arty. Now she, you could say, is a dancer with a paintbrush. Oh, from her studio in Tamaki, self-taught artist Sophia Minson creates bold, soulful art with Copa of Māori at its core. She spent much of her childhood in Sri Lanka, Samoa and China and has won three national art awards. I suppose the journey to get to that was um, I started off came back to New Zealand when I was 14, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I really wanted to celebrate all the diversity of cultures that I'd experienced while I was overseas, particularly mm -hmm. in Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. but also Africa, all these different cultures. And so I have African people and Sri Lankan people, big faces mm -hmm. and, you know, really celebrating the, um, the unity that I see within everyone's eyes mm -hmm. and, you know, within that, that intensity of their look. Mm -hmm. And so painting, became my way to explore my Māori heritage, you know, which had been so um, separate from me and separate from our family. How do you go about um, deciding what you're going to paint? Do you just decide, like, hey, that's a pretty man, I'm going to paint you, or how do you... Like... It started off with a lot of the myths, yeah. and then came the people as well, mm -hmm. and then I would paint my great-great-grandmother, Mātere Te Horawai, and that was a very, very important piece for me, because yeah. each brushstroke I was getting to know her. Mm. You know, and reconnecting only, through paint. Reconnecting through paint. And so now we're on to like a contemporary Māori portrait series. Yeah. And as you can see, this is like Tikitane. Yeah. Um, but he's one in a series of works where I'm looking at uh, contemporary Māori people who are uh, helping to evolve the culture. For six years, Sophia's work has been exhibited and collected in the USA, Europe, Turkey, and extensively through Aotearoa. Her vision is to be the world's top contemporary Māori portrait painter and to help build understanding, respect, and friendship between cultures. What's the coolest thing about being an artist? Um, being your own boss. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't couldn't work for somebody now. Ticker, <laughs> no yep, way. Yep. Yeah. My whole work is like a research into what I believe mm. and, and into life itself and, and my life, my heritage. I know with um, Goldie and Lindau, they were all into the same sort of buzz. Are they a bit of an inspiration for you? Or? Yeah, they were at like a starting point for the series. So mm. I was looking at their work where they were um, looking at, so they're Western artists, looking at Māori and mm. trying to record this vanishing race of Māori. Um, so what I really wanted to do was have the eyes looking out, really strong, really full of power and mana, mm. and um, taking that power back and really celebrating who we are as a culture now. Yes, yes. yes. And finally, you can check out Sophia's awesome mahi at NewZealandArtwork.com. Over summer at the Fukatane Arts Festival, Helena Bay Gallery in the Taitokero, and makers of Modern New Zealand Exhibition in Wellington. Well, Sophia, it's been a real eye-opener. Oh, well, Sophia's been... Oh, we'll do that again. Sorry. Well, Sophia, it's been a real eye-opener. <laughs> well, Sophia, it's been a real eye-opener. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't even give you any, anything. You're going, oh, that's good. Don't look at me. I love it. <laughs> well, Sophia, it's been... <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm kind of... Well, my cousin's been awesome. So, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> well, my cousin Sophia, it's been... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't do it.